Hey everybody, welcome. Today's subject is tripods, really tall tripods. Now, a lot of you might think this is a tall tripod, and it is for most uses, but let's say you wanna get really tall, like 12, 13 feet up. Now, some people might say, well, use a drone for that. Well, a drone doesn't always work because let's say you want it up all day, and you don't want it waving in the wind, and let's say you want it quiet, like you're filming a bird's nest or something, or let's say you're doing surveillance or, or anything like that. So I want to show you something. This is a this here is a carbon fiber Manfrotto tripod with a pan tilt head. Costs about a thousand dollars at least. I've got something that's a lot cheaper than that and goes three times taller. So here it is. This, my friends, is the new tripod friend that you're going to have. This is aluminum. It only weighs 12 and a half pounds, so it's really not that heavy. It costs $189 and it works so easy. You just flip the levers. Look how easy the legs come down. Flip a lever, flip a lever. You know what this is? Do you recognize it? This is a surveyor's tripod. It's what those guys use on the roads with a laser pointer to see all the way down the road. It works really, really easy. You got your top, first top comes like that. The second part is crank. And what I'm gonna do today is I'm gonna hook up a remote control pan tilt gimbal head. I'm going to stick that on there. That because once it's up there, you can't reach it. So remote control is the way to go. And this thing gets really tall. And then you can make it go all the way up. And you crank it up the rest of the way. Now, some of you might say, yeah, well, you can use a light stand. They made light stands that are 13 feet high. Well, here's one right here. It's by impact. It only costs 53 bucks. It goes 13 feet up. Now, you know, you go, well, 53 bucks, I'm getting that. Well, yeah, let's get it up there. Look how tall this thing is and look how small that base is. Even with sandbags weighting this thing down. You know, if it's a windy day and you got a, a heavy weight up there, it's gonna be going like this. And I don't trust, I don't trust expensive equipment on a t the end of a tall thing with a little tiny base like that. Look at this base compared to that base. This is the way to go. Now, if you're indoors and you got something really lightweight up there, then yeah, I guess you could use a 13 foot light stand. But the other thing about a light stand is the legs can't adjust. This thing, like right now we're on, on uneven ground, you can adjust the length of the legs on this thing, but you can't adjust that. So this is just so much sturdier, it's adjustable on uneven ground, and it goes way up high, and this thing is rock solid. You can't beat this. Okay, so now I'm remote controlling this thing, and it's way up there getting a bird's eye view of the world. There's a lot of benefits to filming up high. Because it's on a tripod and not a drone, you can do time-lapse photography. You can even take this hiking out in nature and get some really cool shots when you're out in the middle of nowhere. This pan tilt head is by a company called Movo. It's the MGB-5. It costs about $300. It's aluminum. It only weighs five and a half pounds. The pan tilt motors go 360 degrees and it can support cameras up to 11 pounds. It comes with 20 feet of cable, but you can extend that up to however long you want. This one, the MGB-5, costs $300, but there's some out there that are even half that, like 130, 150. All right, so that's my little thing for today. Just a good place to get a really tall tripod that's really sturdy. It's got a really wide base. It doesn't cost too much. It's like $189 and it goes up to 12 feet high and it's super sturdy. Surveyor's tripod on Amazon. I'll put the link down below. Stay tuned to Marcus Picks for more creative ways to do photography that not a lot of people think about. So stay tuned. I'll see you in the next video. Over and out.